This week is National Ag Week. And in honor of that, I'd like to read the book, My Family's Soybean Farm by Katie Althoff. This book is published by Feeding Minds Press, and they have given permission to read this book online. Hi, I'm Alexander, and my parents are farmers. We live on a farm where we raise pigs, corn, and soybeans. We plant the soybeans in the spring. Our tractor pulls a planter and the planter drops soybean seeds into the soil. Inside the tractor, computers keep track of where the seeds are planted. Our tractors have GPS technology. They can even steer themselves. A few days later, the seeds sprout and soybean plants begin growing. All plants need sunlight and water. Leaves absorb sunlight and the roots gather water and nutrients. Soybean plants have many tiny white or purple flowers. The flowers are about the size of your pinky fingernail. After the flowers wilt, pods begin to grow. The pods are the fruit of the soybean plant. Each pod usually has three beans inside. The beans are the seeds. They are harvested and used for other purposes like food for humans or animals. In the summer, we use remote controlled drones to check our soybeans. The drones fly over the fields and take pictures or videos of the soybean plants. We check to make sure our soybean plants are healthy. Bugs, weeds, and fungi can damage our soybeans. We also walk through our fields to check the soybean plants. This is called crop scouting. Uh-oh, these soybean plants have been damaged by aphids. We use a safe, gentle bug spray to get rid of harmful insects. In the fall, the soybean plants finish growing. When the soybean pods are dry and hard, we harvest them. There are several steps to remove the soybeans from the field. In the past, farmers had to do each part separately. But our combine does all the steps. It cuts the stem. It takes the plant inside the machine. It cracks the pods and separates the beans from the rest of the soybean plant. The beans are put in wagons and taken to grain bins. The grain bins keep the soybeans dry until we sell them. We sell our soybeans to a processor. The processor makes the beans into food for animals. Soybeans have a lot of protein in them. Protein helps animals grow. Our pigs eat food that contains crushed soybeans. Turkeys, chickens, cattle, and fish also eat food made with soybeans. Charlie's pet food even has soybeans in it. Farmers 
farmers in the United States grow a lot of soybeans. Some of the soybeans are used by American farmers and processors. Processors also sell our soybeans to farmers around the world to feed livestock. Barges and trains take soybeans to countries like Mexico and China. Most soybeans are used for livestock food, but we eat food made from soybeans too. Have you ever tried soy sauce? It's made from soybeans and it's delicious. Oil from soybeans can be made into cooking oil or into biodiesel fuel. Soybeans are also used to make ink, crayons, and glue. Next year, we will grow corn in this field instead of soybeans. That's called crop rotation. Plants need nutrients just like we do. Corn and soybeans use different amounts of different nutrients. The roots of the plant get the nutrients from the soil. Rotating crops keeps our soil from running out of the right balance of nutrients. Rotating or switching crops keeps the soil healthy. Mom and dad are farmers. My grandparents were farmers and my great grandparents were farmers. When I grow up, I want to be a farmer just like them. Maybe someday you'll eat foods or use products made from the soybeans grown on my family's farm. And here's just a glossary of some of the words that were in this book. An aphid is a tiny bug that can damage crops. Biodiesel is fuel that can be made from soybeans and used in diesel engines. A combine is a machine that harvests crops. Combines are also used to harvest corn, rice, wheat, and other crops. A crop is a plant raised for food. Crop rotation is when planting, when you plant different crops each year. Drones are remote controlled flying robots with cameras also called UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles. A farmer is someone who grows food or raises livestock. Fuel is a material that produces heat or power like gasoline. GPS is Global Positioning System, a network of satellites that communicate with receivers on the ground to determine exact locations on Earth. It's kind of like mapping. Harvest is when you gather your crops. Livestock are farm animals including cattle, hogs, sheep, goats, poultry, and other animals raised on the farm. Nutrients are something that plants, animals, and people need to live and grow. Nutrients are usually found in your food and your water. I hope you enjoyed this book. Have a good day.